And we are back, Odell's Roundtable. And listen, as you can see, I'm joined by a guest here. I have a friend here, um, say radio personality. I was T- going to say, you don't sound sure. What the hell is that about? <laughs> he was like- TV person? <laughs> very, very sure. Okay, we're going to have fun. Listen, Lola is someone who is media-driven, um, sex expert, relationship yes. expert, sex columnist. Yes, I do um, sex advice. All around just good vibes. And, you know, it's funny we talk about relationships and building relationships and right. networking and things of that sort. So I came across you through a mutual friend, DJ right, Wayne Ski. which is so funny because I thought it was through somebody else. Right. You know what I mean? And it's, it's just such a small world. Because Synergy. Because I'm in New York and right. we're here in Atlanta that we have, like, the same network of people. Well, and it's funny, too, because when you brought up Court Digger, shout out to Court Digger. Yes. When he made a comment, I didn't even know that he knew you. So that, that's I could have sworn he was the one that introduced <laughs> me to you, though, and not for nothing. I have a really good memory. Right. Well, now I, I know I know <laughs> Core Digger, but see that that and that goes with I, I was always saying like you don't know who knows who. So right. if sure. if Absolutely. you if you have a good standing with folks, mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna show through. Right. Yeah. Because who wants to be the asshole, right? <laughs> Seriously. Like, who wants to be known as that person? Well, let's, that t- let's talk about that though, because sometimes I mean, and, you know, you're from New York, New York City, and and, and they've been known sometimes to be kind of like correlate with asshole. No, nah, I mean, but sometimes you know, in the city, y'all have to be a little abrasive and things of that sort. Oh, you know, as far as just <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, I think from a standpoint of maybe like the commutes and all that kind of stuff. So sometimes, I guess, in New York, you might have to have that kind of thing. I can imagine. You know. Right. But it I mean, yeah. but still you are still go on to be nice and personable and everything like that. I sure hope so. <laughs> no, seriously, because why not? Everybody should be nice. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but we, we do have, there is some people who think being the asshole, putting people down, uh, being the kind of the biggest person Well, it depends. Person are you getting paid for it? Hmm. You know what I mean? Like if you're a dominatrix and people are paying you to be an asshole, then okay, that's a whole nother side to the story. Okay. It took a left turn right there. That's what I'm talking about. See, (laughs) And welcome to the show, guys. And welcome to the show. (laughs) And talk about this. I mean, so like you, you help people in all kind of situations as far as like. That sounds so shady right now. That did sound shaky. That that sounds really (laughs) shady. Um, yeah, I, I specialize in adult alternative sex advice. Right, right. Um, you know, I've worked for Playboy, Penthouse, um, Adult Friend Finder, mm. everybody, you know. Mm. So if they want somebody who knows about sex, they usually call me. Right. <laughs> and, like, and sex is a big part of a relationship, you would say? What kind of relationship? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. There's, I mean, come on, like. You have relationships with everybody. That doesn't That's mean true. sex is a part of it. Right. Talking about a romantic relationship, romantic, like a boyfriend-girlfriend, yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course sex is a big part. Yeah. It's, see, a, it's a big part of being human. It's a big part right. of just human sexuality in right. general. Now, you, you find that like a lot of people, are they so closed off with it? Does that hurt relationships? Because I've seen people that, where mm. like, they're kind of so rigid with everything, right? So everything in their life yeah. is, is so rigid. And then if you well, try how to fun is it having <laughs> sex with somebody who's rigid? Mm, nah, Do you know what I mean? Nah, because that whole vibe will carry on into the bedroom, into the whole sexual arena. Right. So if you always have a funky-ass attitude, you're going to have bad sex. Mm. You know, it's like, think about it. Remember the old saying, like, what you put out into the universe, you get tenfold? Right. Same thing with sexual energy. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, so it's, it's, it's so it's not even it starts mentally. It starts right there. Like it's it's sure two people like some people get confused with everything. Just the physical part. Like what you're bringing. No, who doesn't like a good mind fuck? Mm, Do you know what it. I mean? Talk about when it. You, when you are courting somebody, it's all about the anticipation that leads up to that moment. You know what I right, mean? Right, right, right. So you get a little fancier with your words. <laughs> you know, you show out a little bit. Okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the turn, by you doing that and taking the time, putting the energy out, it's going to make that crescendo. Well, hopefully, if you're not like Harvey Weinstein, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're not supposed to be pushing yourself on people. Right, right, That's right. That's not what I'm no, saying. No, no exactly. But like, a mu- like when you're in a mutual relationship, yeah, right, of right. course. What you put out there, you have to try. Yeah. You have to try because people are not mind readers. Well, most people I know are not. Well, talk about that, too, because you talk about the trying part. And I think sometimes mm-hmm. people, they don't know how to ask somebody or they don't know how to. Because it can be a little uncomfortable. Mm. 
you know, like think about um, the subjects that you're okay speaking about just in general in public and you don't feel embarrassed or like, oh my God, I'm sitting next to Lola Bassanato. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, so right. think about those, those times and you have to kind of magnify that for people. Yeah. You know, if you're not comfortable speaking about sex in general, it's not going to be easy speaking to a, somebody that's really close to you. Right. However, you can work on it, and it can be. And it can be really exhilarating for a relationship. Right. It can really open up a lot of different pathways. Communication, okay. just the bonding, the courting. You know, it's, it's, it can be a beautiful thing. Yeah. I mean, so, like, talking about the sex is just like other facets of the relationship. But some people don't approach it that way, right? Like some people have no problem talking about the finances, talking about oh, yeah. other things. Oh yeah, I don't like but then, finances. But then when it comes to the sexual part, and, and that's usually sometimes when people get frustrated because they're not getting what they want, and the other yeah. person didn't know. Yeah. So like suppressing that, like yeah. have you seen a lot of that? Like people, who, well, usually, who usually suppresses that? That men or women or who? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with your upbringing and religion. Mm, okay. Um, you know, we live in a religion-based culture, so. If your religion is telling you, no, don't mm. do it, save it, save it, save it, of course, and your mind is going to be sold off there is bad. Right, right, right. You know, so I think it just kind of varies in that degree. But what was the question? Because I totally lost that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, say it one more well, time. Well, I was saying, like, who, who, do you, who do you find that kind of suppresses? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, it goes to culture. Right, but, okay. You know, and sometimes just talking is not easy. Mm, it's not it. easy <laughs> so like think think about if you were able to speak freely during sex and tell your partner exactly what you want you, you might well get it you might get it or she might say get the fuck out my <laughs> you know but chances are you have a greater opportunity of getting what you desire the closed mouth doesn't get it. fit yeah well take it how you want <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well here's the thing too so like you talked about that mind fuck and yes. you talk about just uh, the courting, because I hear yeah. a lot of ladies now say that they feel like courting is not really being done anymore. Or people yeah. are not trying to bond with them. They're just trying to jump to that. Well, we also live in an age where it's very digital. So mm. most of the time we meet people online and when we meet them online, we already have a, a, an entire profile on them and well, an we assessment yeah. of who this person is, because right. it's your advertisement to the world, even um Facebook, yeah, yeah. you know, it's kind of telling everybody who you are. So knowing that in meeting people online, you kind of skip a lot of the human interaction. Like, mm. hi, my name is Lola. <laughs> right, you right. Can just read it. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean? So you miss those human cues and mm. that can be a little daunting because sometimes people think they could just jump into it where, you know, oh, well, right. we talked about it. Well, they you feel know? like because they've seen pictures of you in this setting, the things setting. They, people might they think they already know you, and they can just go right, right. to something as opposed mm -hmm. to taking the steps like, "Hey, you don't know me like that. You just walked up on right. me, type thing." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, has or it can help also. Like, mm. it can also help. Sometimes it can foster communication because if people are shy at just um, initiating a conversation with somebody, right. having the buffer of the internet will kind of allow you to be who you want to be, yeah. and it gives you time, like, to respond. Like, you don't have to respond instantly. You can do it whenever the hell you want to. That's true. So it's not like if we're having a conversation, I'm just like, mm -mm, I'm not gonna answer you. <laughs> like that's awkward. <laughs> but if it's online, right, right, you know. You you take your yeah, time I'll, exactly. I'll get back to them when i want to it can be, it can be a really great tool mm -hmm. i really think um you know especially since the whole dating thing has has really grown like to the point that there's apps yeah you yeah, know yeah. like you know the swiping and all this nonsense yeah right, absolutely, right, absolutely absolutely right. so it can really help people but it can also like like i said i think the the bad part of it is it can kind of have that human disconnect and, and yeah. where so that balance it, is that a problem that you see a lot in relationships? Because some, you said everything is digital. Some, so some people, they're sitting around mm -hmm. looking at their phone all the time. Yeah. And they're looking at an image that they might want their partner to look like. Um, right. They might just, you know, I want this person looking like this and this kind of bikini and this kind of thing. Like, it's, it, instead of just really building on in real well, life. Well, how about not making her look like somebody else, but saying, I would appreciate seeing you in this ah, bikini. okay. Do you know what I mean? Exactly, like, okay. There's a difference. Like, you can serve everything up differently. In the delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. important, the delivery. Yeah, and, and that goes... <laughs> I want you to look like this chick over here. 
<laughs> well, no, because I, I see that. I see people, and I'm like, you're already you're already going into failure by you sitting around looking at these pictures or looking at Instagram of somebody else. Oh, yeah, because there's a lot of beautiful people on Instagram. There like, is. there's this whole Instagram model <laughs> world now, apparently. <laughs> you know, it's the thing for these girls. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of them are beautiful. Like, right, once right. you start, you know, no, oh, I was going to say swiping. You don't yeah, swipe, this is just right? looking, yeah. Scrolling or whatever. Like, it's intriguing. What role do you think social media is now playing in, in relationships? Because you've seen things where people are in good relationships and they are partnered up and somebody okay. might just like a photo. Like, like you said, like they're not even talking oh, about yeah. the, we're not even talking about the human interaction where they went up to the yeah. person and said something like yeah. they might just <laughs> like this photo. This sounds personal. <laughs> it, it sounds hella personal, right? Like, oh, I mean, listen, I mean, I, I, I've been there. Uh -huh. I, I, I've been there. Okay. I've been there where like, I'm like, wait a minute. I like the photo. You know, it's not like right, I walk so into the person. Are you, are you married and in no. a relationship? Not right now. No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Gotcha. But I mean, I, I've had that happen before. I've okay. had that where like. Like, why are you looking at this photo or something? I'm like, yeah. you know, this person. You know, because it makes you think, why did he like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, a lot of girls, they, that's how they feel. Like, all right, if he's liking that, then he must really like that. What about me? What about me? It's, right. it's stupid, but it's human. It's very, you know, it, it would be the same thing if you wave to somebody in the high school hallway. Right, sometimes. right. You know, it's just a different delivery system. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but. You, do you feel like there is, because um, I hear the, okay, I hear about the courting part, right? Okay. Then I hear that um, women say there's not like a lot of gentlemen out there right now, which I'm not sure if. I don't think that's true, though. Mm. I think it's where you put yourself. Right. There's gentlemen out there, just like there's ladies and there's not fucking ladies. Exactly. You know what I mean? There's, yeah. there's room for everybody, but it's where you put yourself Again, the energy you put out. Right, right, so, right. Yeah. right. And, and, and also, it depends on like who you spend your time with. I think also like as far as like your circle, right? Like you, you yeah. run with all kind of different people, right? <laughs> <A> bunch of <laughs> <wackos>. <laughs> You run with all different kind of people. Yeah. You have all different kind I of do. fun. Um, this person but you're I'm with. I'm a very eclectic person. Right. So my friends tend to be eclectic. Okay. You know, I gravitate to people who enjoy what they're doing. Mm. You know what I mean? Regardless of what it is. Like right. people who are having fun, those are the people that you get attracted to. Right, you know? right. So and, and you're right, because I mean, whether it's in music and radio, yeah, whether it's that in the sex world and things of that sort, I mean... <laughs> 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 in the sex in world, sex world. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say uh, you, you have a lot of good friends and you're always yes, just I have great friends yeah but how, so how is it as far as like building and, and, and fostering those relationships because sometimes I think that you are in settings where you know you're just a lot more freer than a lot some people are as far as like their restrictions this is starting to sound really bad <laughs> like this is like a setup to like rural tape you know no nah, no nah, no nah, not like that not like that okay but so i mean i think because i think sometimes as far as people holding back with their restrictions because I, i've been in those kind of relationships where it's like oh uh, man is this too far with this person or should i you just don't be? know until you ask mm. you don't know somebody's communication. Limits. yeah like realistically it's like any other working relationship that you have. You start at the beginning. Right. And you kind of start to set the rules and the parameters. Mm -hmm. And you have discussions. You have to have discussions to be able to do that. So it, you know? is, it, is it a problem sometimes where we, like I said, we jump in those steps? Yeah, I think, you know, and sometimes it's just exciting. Sometimes people just want to have sex. They don't want the relationship, mm. you know? Mm. But, should, but shouldn't people be honest about oh, that? I hear some mumbling over here. <laughs> 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 I heard the hmm. Yeah, I mean, hey. Oh, well, yeah, it's true, though. I mean, it's it's human. It's not, listen, we, we put all these definitions and <laughs> rules and laws on what things should be. Right, you right, know? right. Human sexuality is human sexuality. You can't really hide it. You can't suppress it. Because yeah. eventually it's going to come out, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But it's one of those things that is, is part of you. Right, right. Yeah. It's I mean, uh, it, you, you have to be smart. You just don't flaunt it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, you don't jump on your mom's dining room <laughs> table and start acting stupid. You know, like time and place. Yeah. So what would you say if you had to give some tips towards people like getting back to the courting getting back to leading up to the the mind fuck as you say uh, you look so nervous <laughs> saying that <laughs> i mean like okay. what, what kind of tips or things would you would you tell them uh, we, we talked about communication 
Okay. Dialogue. That's the most important thing. You don't mm. have anything else without dialogue. It starts you know, and ends with that, right? Yeah, it starts with that. Because first of all, how do you communicate that you don't like something? You have to tell them. Mm. You know what I mean? How do you communicate you like something? You have to tell them. Sorry, you're screwed. You still have to communicate. Right, so, right, right. So like yeah. the, these putting out these little sing- signals like where you're just going to just maybe play games and say I'm just, you know, have a headache or something like that. But whether you're just saying, hey, I don't like doing that or I want to do something different, uh-huh. that's that's what you should be doing because if, if not I mean because I've seen that too right where okay. somebody's like you know I just don't want to do it or I just want to hit it I have a headache or something but as opposed to saying you know what the headache thing is really common and you know it's funny because I never use that excuse okay and I wonder how many people actually <laughs> use that excuse yeah you know look that shit up yeah yeah right? the headache thing <laughs> so, so if, you, if you don't want to do something you're just like it's not tonight it's yeah you have to be honest because who wants to be in like somebody's got a stank attitude while having sex <laughs> nobody wants that nobody wants nobody that. wants that nobody wants that so now talk about what you have going on because you've done a lot of different events you do the events all over new york um you do yes. things in the caribbean and in mexico i know so yeah we do a lot of adult vacations obviously right right um right. i teach at both hedonism and oh, desires okay. so i That's do like couples Jamaica, right? classes yeah okay. so i do couples classes on how you know to spice things up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, yeah. If, you, if you gave a, can you give a tip? Just what, maybe one of the tips you t- kind of are like something you kind of go down. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh oh. Here, here we go. Yeah. She got these bags too. So this is here. Okay. This is for you, and this is for my sponsor, this Bad is Dragon. This for me. Okay, from so, sponsor Bad Dragon. Shout out to so Bad Dragon. So Bad Dragon, everybody is known as a novelty <laughs> fantasy line. Here we go. Okay, so they do really kind of outrageous. Oh, wow. Sex toys, like anything from tentacles to, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. So and this is another good thing. Okay, this is this is so you know it came straight from the factory. Okay. Like all right, so you want to open it up. So Bad Dragon also like you can custom make your toy. So you go online and you can pick everything on there. Well, you said you didn't have a girl, so. I <laughs> I told you it's a fantasy line. Okay. So you can't, do you know what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I love the look on his face right now. I gotta be honest. I mean, I have an idea, but I don't know. Um, I, ha- I have an idea, but you okay. might break it down for me, so Lola. So this is a male masturbator. Oh, um, wow. He has <laughs> teeth, actually. So actually what you do is you use some lube okay, and then you stick your penis in here and it feels really, really good. Put your finger in there. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you, like it feels real because it's the, the softness of the latex. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? You can go home and be a happy boy tonight. <laughs> so, uh, I know, but they look funny, right? And they, they oh, look my um, really dramatic. And that's the thing about Bad Dragon is oh. they have like a ton of... I think that's a part of the lube too. Yeah, that, no, that's so you can clean your toy, honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is oh, my goodness. instructions in there for oh, you as well. Oh, my goodness. I th- Lola is too I much. I know. And so these you can, um, you know, yeah. that'll be fun. Yeah. Trust me, I know you, it looks crazy. No, no, Wait no. until he's home one one. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be you're gonna be DMing me telling me how fantastic I am. And All right. Me. So, so toys is something definitely couples need to explore. Um, yeah, if they like them. Right, right, right. You know. Uh, so I need somebody who has a female for this basket. Oh, you need somebody who has a female? Yes. Uh, let's see here. Who has a who woman? Wants to, who wants to step up to the plate? We got a couple people in the studio. We got Gerald in the house. Yay. Gerald, come on over here, Gerald. Gerald is joining us so from I'm the remix. Hold this fancy pillow. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> so this is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Gerald the microphone well. too. Okay. And you're going to give this for, to your wife, or play with your wife, possibly. So these are the top picks, actually, for 2018 for, you know, fantasy novelty. So these okay. are kind of like a big deal. Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so this. <laughs> Is a tentacle, okay? Okay. So, like I said, you can customize them any way you want, 
any colors, any shape, any girth, anything like that. You can even make them ejaculate. They'll put like a cum tube in there for you. Oh, wow. You know? Oh, wow. And they'll... Oh, sure, no problem. <laughs> but, okay, now, you guys think it looks crazy and everything, but once you start playing with it, the way it's shaped <laughs> is going to hit her G-spot, right? And the way it's tapered is going to really hit her walls properly. You're welcome, G. <laughs> Has the suction cups on it, too, right, right there? Yeah, like the tentacle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, wait, but here, oh. here, this goes, there's more. This one, too, you have to open. So, because it's a fantasy line, Mother they brought specialize toys. in fantasy. They make this special lube called cum lube. <laughs> and <laughs> right to the point. Yes, the cum lube is the consistency of real semen, as well as, you know, the color. Oh, okay, okay. So, and okay. it's very, like, slippery and slick. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people have fantasies about having a threesome with another guy but are too scared to do it. This is a great way to act out that fantasy uh -huh. and not have to take the extra step to go and be physical. So for if you ever wanted to see your girl like with another guy, this is good. For those who can't see, this is called Bad Dragon Cum. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> Shake well before each use and apply a small amount of bad dragon cum lube to desired areas. I appreciate you using your radio voice for that too, Gerald. Uh, <laughs> uh, they, they, might, they might call you up because that, that, was, that was a good promo right there. Yeah, but I'm telling you, you're going to thank me. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you more later. <laughs> well, Lola, how can the people get in contact with you Oh, uh, I'm Lola Bastinato everywhere. Right. Lola Bastinato yeah. everywhere. You can go to lolabastinato.com. Right. Lola'sHouse.com. Or just Google. That yeah. works too. Playboy. Yeah. TV. You, you look at it. It looks kind of creepy. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I'm just happy that you're here because. Me too. You know, I'm very happy that I'm here. Well, because it's when you. It's been a while. It's been a while. You know, for those who don't know, Lola was like, she was on the last recording. Uh, we had the Beats and Lyrics show. I just learned that. On radio. Yeah, we were on, we were on the WRFG. She was on our last recording. And so it's special because. I hope that doesn't mean I'm going to make a show. Nah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's, it's funny, though, because when it, when it happened, because like I said, I met you through Wayne Ski and everything. And I just put right. it out there. I said, hey, why don't, you come by, why don't you come by the show? And we hadn't even met in person. Right. And to right. that point, we, it was all right. online communication. But you and came look, to the studio. And, that, and now you have <laughs> dirty toys to remind We go from you. this meeting online to now getting dirty toys and everything yeah. like that. So make sure y'all follow Lola. Uh, and, you, and what's the next event you have coming up? You have something coming down up in Miami? Or is it? Mm, oh, yeah, Exotica Miami. <laughs> Duh, I'm flying out in a couple of days. How about that? No, um, so Exotica, which is the biggest like um, adult fan convention. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, I'll come down to come the down there, look Miami for you. Airport Convention. Oh, yeah, I'll be at booth, I don't know, 639 maybe. Follow Lola <laughs> on social media. Yeah. And she'll tell you where she's going to be down in Miami at Exotica. Absolutely. Um, so definitely oh, check her out. Oh, and then I'm hosting Live. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's a big thing. The 22nd? Yeah, the 22nd down there. Okay, it's talk about the it. It's Sexy Six. It's me, CJ Strokes, and <laughs> CJ Strokes. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, Danny Black. Yeah. You know, um, a bunch of girls. It's going to be a lot of fun. So as you can see, Lola is definitely somebody to follow. She is, outside of just being a sex bird and everything, just a great person. Great oh, vibes. I mean, thanks. that's what I'm saying. Good mm -hmm. energy. And that's the thing about it, too, is that whatever you do, and she made a good point about you want to be around people who are good at what they do. So if they do this, right. if they do that, if they're serious about it, right. and Lola is, is serious about it and good, and I got some toys and things to play around with, shout out to Bad Dragon. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break We're going to come back We're going to talk to Gerald I want to thank Lola for stopping by Thank for bringing you so all much the good for energy. having thank me you Seriously For Bad Dragon you. Shout out to them Yes, absolutely Bad all right. Dragon So we'll be right back in the round table Take a break See you in a second